Okay, so this is a test stream to check out the feature and maybe uh, make more live streams in the future. And I'm going to uh, be doing an animation. I came up with this idea yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> Still a bit sick, or really? Um, <coughs> mi voz, o es lo que se escucha muy bajito. to speak louder no se escucha nada más ah no la música no si sí, si sí, hay música Okay, so I'm going to connect the lab. Three viewers, yay! <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, no. Yeah. 
can't hear anything now. Okay. Troubleshooting. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. Do you hear anything? Can you hear me? Oh, wait. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes? Ah, uh, but... Turn it up. I mean, okay. Is this the game? Turn it up, bro. I'm doing. I'm, I'm turning in. Uh. <coughs> More? Maybe I'm not doing anything. Okay, I think that's good. Check the stream on your phone. OBS mm, doesn't show anything. And is it is it like is it the lab? Testing, testing the, the lab. Testing the lab. Testing. I think it's okay now. And <coughs> okay, so like I was saying, okay. My voice is all right now, right? I cannot, like, OBS doesn't sh show me, like, how my, my, the, the mic, the mic's volumes, so. <coughs> stream seemed all right so like i was saying uh this is a test stream to i mean it's obviously a test stream but hopefully things go smooth <laughs> from now on and i'll be doing an animation <coughs> and i'm a bit sick so i i won't be talking too much but um, just from time to time and if you have any questions send it in the chat you know this is like practice a, a practice stream for me um, so yeah the screen this the, the you can see clip studio 
right? Okay, so all this is an animation. Um, I saw some artists doing some um, kind of like uh, art protesting against um, AI. And I shared some of them on Instagram. And I kind of like this idea came to my mind. And let, and that's what I'm going to be animating. So as you can see, it's a hand, and then uh, like an AI hand comes and because uh, I've seen <laughs> artists like drawing hands like AI does hands and um, it's funny it's fun to draw a grotesque monster like hands okay so I'll go ahead and animate So yesterday I made a very extremely rough path just to get the idea down. Um, like the drawings are extremely rough. The timing, I haven't even uh, checked the timing. So just to get the idea. still going to be very rough but I'm looking at my own hand
I use some light to draw. Since it's digital, we can always make tons of layers and our drawings can be ugly. And we can always paint them. We can make as many passes, animation, rough animation passes as we need. I'm not going to I'll just look making one two months. So my approach is always to make as many rough files as I need. Shy, hi. Hello. Welcome. I am um, a bit sick, so I may not be t I may not be talking too much, but if you have questions, then I mean I can I can talk from time to time. And 
this is a test um, a test to maybe later have the make more uh, live streams so with camera and more features I'm from Indonesia hey, it's okay great I um, I had this idea that most of my viewers were from uh, the American continent and I figured Like right now is they are asleep, so. But it's great. Welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Okay, so I'm I'm doing an animation. Um, I saw some artists doing um, kind of like art protesting against AI and I like this idea came to my mind so yesterday I made a, a very rough pass and I am clean, cleaning the animation right now hello from Denmark hello Denmark Denmark in Spanish is ah, Dinamarca, of course. Welcome, Rael Rale Fay. So, oh, let me show you the like the animation. It's um, it's a hand drawing, and then like this AI hand shows up, and it uh, kind of like takes over the human hand and transforms into a. I don't know. I don't know if you have seen. Like it's kind of becoming a an art trend to make. Um, like grotesque monster like hand because AI um well it, it it struggles with drawing hands so this is what I'm doing um right now Dinamarca sounds way nicer yeah it's cool Dinamarca <laughs> I um, like this is I I don't know how far I'll um, make it with this animation and uh, I don't know how yeah sometimes when you're live drawing um, things are <laughs> I mean it's more it's more difficult but anyway let's see how it goes taxi dummy driver there was a short trend a few months ago of making fun of AI by drawing anime girls eating noodles in really oh yeah yeah I think I saw <laughs> I saw some of those <laughs> Yeah, it's um, it's crazy what's going on. Okay, 
Okay, so sometimes I pause and look at my own hand for reference. So if I stop drawing, maybe that's what I'm doing, looking at my own hand. <coughs> Sorry. I just finished, um, I just delivered a uh, cut for the anime I'm working on and, and had, had some time for myself, so yeah. I decided to do Okay, so I'm 
I think it, it's uh, it's looking quite ugly, but I'll make several passes to fix everything. This is usually my approach to animating, especially when I'm not sure what I'm doing. Hello from France. Hello, Axel Gavinier. Uh, Lynn. I studied a bit of French in high school. I mean, I, I don't remember. But maybe a bonjour. <laughs> um. Hola. Whoa, lots of people from lots of places. Welcome everyone. I honestly didn't know what to expect. Questions, please let me know. I am. Um, I have a, a mild cough, but I can speak from time to time. Y también en español. <clears throat> if you want me to, to to say something in Spanish, or if you have a question in Spanish. <clears throat>
Ah, caray, yo pensando que era solo angloparlante. ¿Esta animación es un proyecto personal o solo es un ejercicio? Eh, soy de México, entonces el español es mi primer idioma. <risa> Eh, y sí, es una... A, ayer se me ocurrió hacer esta... Bueno, he visto que muchos artistas están como en protesta haciendo eh, pinturas e ilustraciones eh, burlándose un poquito de las manos que eh, el AI ay, en español la inteligencia artificial um, ¿Ah, sí? Y pues se me ocurrió también hacer algo. Entonces... <coughs> sí, es un proyecto personal completamente. Aquí ya empezamos a... O sea, esta mano ya tiene seis dedos, pues. <risa> Pero es que, pues siento que la animación es una comunidad, por lo pronto, muy internacional. Y pues, o sea, ya trabajo en un anime. Entonces, por eso el inglés como para no eh, no cerrarme vaya a, a la comunidad internacional that's why I um, I make my videos in English But, I mean, I'm not against speaking in Spanish or even Japanese, eventually. Qué 
chido, un saludo desde el Estado de México. Han salido muchos proyectos muy padres sobre esta polémica de México, pero... O sea, son como las 3 de la mañana ya, ¿no? O las 2, más bien. Las 2 de la mañana. <risa> Juré que estabas como en España o algo así. Sí, 2.26, sí. <risa> ah, pues qué cool. Bueno, no, no sé si estás desvelándote por gusto o, <risa> o por otra cosa, pero... <risa> gente having fun um, the drawing hands weird looking hands and so that's why I decided to join as well It's still pretty rough, but okay, I'm going to make another rough pass. Okay, so now I'm, now I'm going to start um, cleaning up some, uh, for example, like wh whatever this hand is drawing. And yeah, making a cleaner rough pass.
think I'm going to take a photo of my hand. You have a, a better, better record. Yes, I was looking at my hand while I was drawing.
I'm having um, some shadow because sometimes it's it sounds weird but more complex drawings are easier and by more complex I mean with, with shadows sometimes without shadows your drawings have to be very um, precise with shadows not so not so much and that is so also something that happens with um, anime anime has shadows and that sometimes it makes it easier I mean it's it's much more work because you have to animate the shadows as well but
Perdón la molestia. No es molestia para nada. De hecho, pues me ayudas a no estar eh, callada <ríe> todo el tiempo. Eh, ¿Te dedicas profesionalmente a la animación? Sí. Sí, la última chamba que todavía tengo, o sea, está como ongoing, nada más que como que me tienen que mandar más material y, y yo lo regreso y así. Eh, fue para un anime. Entonces, un anime que sale el próximo año. Y antes de eso, pues, chambé para... Eh, siempre, siempre como freelance, pero para distintos estudios. O sea, sí le sé, pero no, nunca lo, lo he hecho profesionalmente. Animación. professional animator and I am a professional animator I last job well it, it's it's still ongoing but I am working for an anime and I really wanted to enter the anime industry and I got my first opportunity up in September and I am still working for them so Yeah, I'm really happy. Really hope to watch again in the morning. Gotta sleep right now. Thanks again for the stream. Good night. And, um, I don't know. I, I think maybe I'll be here for a couple of hours. Because I have, I am available right now to make these animations. So maybe I'll stay here. But, Thank you very much for stopping by and have a good night. Sweet dreams. <laughs> oh, no sabía que se podía trabajar en la industria del anime desde acá. ¿Cómo ha sido tu trayectoria desde la escuela a conseguir tu primera comisión? Um, o sea, but, bueno, sí, o sea, sí, sí puedes trabajar remoto y freelance, pero no lo recomiendan muchos animadores foráneos y pues, los mismos de la industria porque eh, pues, es un poquito más complicada la comunicación eh, por suerte a mí me escribieron en inglés o sea estoy estudiando japonés y todo pero me escribieron en inglés y tienen traductores para bueno tienen un traductor para hablar conmigo entonces pero eso no es creo que no es normal entonces sí lo recomendable es que Literal, te mudes a Japón y pues ya eh, consigas chamba. Y pues como hay demanda por animadores, si, si tienes un buen portafolio, pues sí, te la, 
te, pues, te dan el trabajo. Y desde la escuela a conseguir tu primera comisión, pues... <risa> eh, conseguí... La mayoría de los, las chambas que conseguí antes de esta del anime eran con... Eh, graduados también de la universidad que ten, tienen su estudio de animación y ya pues chambé con ellos eh, eh, sobre todo como freelance o sea no, nunca fui como in house de su estudio y, y pues con lo de la pandemia y todo porque pues me gradué a final, o sea, en diciembre del 2019, y pues la pandemia fue luego, luego. Entonces, pues ya me quedé remoto, y pues, es, o sea, me gusta bastante. <risa> Entonces, he ido como de proyecto en proyecto. Pero, o sea, con lo, los que me abrieron más oportunidades, yo los conocí en la universidad y me acerqué a ellos para hacer, um, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Intern. Y, o sea, entonces de, desde que era estudiante ya estaba como haciendo un poco de internships y pues ya eventualmente me siguieron dando proyectos ya, ya graduada, vaya. Ok, voy a, ahora lo voy a decir en inglés y me ayuda para que pues, esté hablando, ¿no? Ok, so Stanley asked. Um, how well first he said he didn't know that you could work in the anime industry from uh, your home country and you can work remotely and freelance um, as a foreign animator but Can you repeat it also in Japanese, please? <laughs> uh, one day, one day I will be able <laughs> to repeat it in Japanese. Uh, <laughs> and in Thai, please. Uh, I'm not sure if I will be able to repeat it in Thai, but maybe. Maybe, sorry, just making sure the international audience is served properly. Thank you. And we all understand. Sure. Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what I was saying is that it is not highly recommended to work remotely for the anime industry uh, the best option is to uh, travel to Japan with your demo reel and visit the studios and show them your work and they'll hire you um, of course I'm not sure if I suppose I mean this is what I have here I, I That's not my case, but that's what they say. Um, so I suppose you have to speak a little of Japanese. I suppose. Um, but yeah, it's. I mean, I, 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 I got my first opportunity, and I don't know if I will get more soon. Um, I hope I do. But yeah, it's like what what foreign 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 uh, foreign animators recommend is that you travel to Japan. Yeah, and I now that I am like working and I mean I I see why they say that it's. It's harder, communication is harder, and uh, if you are in-house with the studio, you are you are with your supervisors and they can tell you and guide you 
immediately instead of having you know uh, sent emails and yeah <laughs> Are you streaming video games? Can we expect some bots? <laughs> Please in this channel. <laughs> uh, not in this channel, but I, 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 I've been wanting to. I've been wanting. No, I've been. I want to make a channel. A, 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 a gaming channel, probably in Spanish, to be honest. Don't cry. Don't cry, I'm sorry. I'm so weak. <laughs> Can you play back the animation? Oh, of course. I haven't seen the updated version. I only made the hand. Oh, well, I, I don't know if you mean the second part. Well. So. Ah, girl. <laughs> But you want us to ask it also as a chiste. Way to go to the conservatory. That means it's working. No, oh, this is the AI hand. And it's. I mean, like a weird. Um, skinny. louder okay it's it's kind of loud i mean at, at, at least for me so okay 
trépale a tu micro. A ver. ¿Cómo le trepo? Ah, en el game. Aquí. Aquí. Hello, hello. Better. Ay. <laughs> Sorry, my, my cough. ¿Así o más? Suena casi igual. ¿Así? Así que está. My cough. My cough. Así que tal. <coughs> ¿Sí? I think I... Creo que moví otra cosa. ¿Dónde tiene ese lado? <risa> sí, a ver. A ver, ahí. ¿Qué tal ahí? <risa> Better. <coughs> Better o pero not enough or ya yeah, good better crop okay no better enough okay okay let's continue <laughs> are to draw. But they are also really cool. I travel on food channel. Can I promote it here? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I think we have to start posting things. No? Don't worry, I will promote it when, um, I don't know, one day, eventually.
should name this stream anti AI art artwork stream or something more quick <laughs> click baby okay can I change the I think I can right but does it like it, it, it. can I change it <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and change it. But I really don't want to start a debate. <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe pro AI people arrive and start, you know, saying things and I'm not in the mood to... Anti-AI art. <laughs> art work stream. <laughs> Anti AI image regeneration. So it's not art. Or if you're an AI, <laughs> don't click this. If you're an AI, don't click this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to change it and I'll be animating a anti Okay, save. I really don't hope Kater is. I don't want to start anything. <laughs> Did the title change? Because this is the first time I stream, so. Yes, it did. Okay. <laughs> okay, so then I'll I'll change it to um beta. If you're an AI, don't click this. <laughs> okay. Let's wait for the hate bots start pouring into stream. Okay. Okay, so now I the hand kind of like twitches in a non-natural way. And then psh.
Ay, ups. Okay, so this next keyframe is a is a like a shake. Like the hand is twitching uh, involuntarily or something like that. Maybe I can kind of like make a closer, kind of like a claw, closer. Do you have any anime recommendations to watch now? <laughs> I am... Um, I am currently watching Golden Kamui. I... It started airing in... Um... 2018. And the manga is already over. And... I... I am really liking it a lot it's really good so if you haven't watched uh you haven't watched Golden Kamui check it out that are earring right now oh my really good Okay, one and 
it's still I added a new key thing as you can see here is the second rough pass and I only have like keyframe three keyframe two three two and I added one extra keyframe here keyframe <laughs> So this third pass seems like a uh, like a close to the a fi the fi like close to what it would be um, the final pass, but not necessarily. I can always make changes and you know until I like it. And sometimes I make the changes on the same pass but I don't know sometimes it's better to have kind of uh, like the different iterations so El pibe de motosierra, sí, exacto. <ríe> También, o sea, no lo. No he visto el último episodio, que creo que es el 10. Mm. Es que, o sea, no inventes, neta, el Cosmic Kamui me atrapó completamente. Entonces, dejé de catch up con todos los demás. Pero está muy cool. ¿Tú crees que ver series, películas animadas ayuda a desarrollar algo a la hora de animar o solo con práctica? No, definitivamente eh, como que siento que el ojo y desarrollar y entrenar ese ojo pues es el 50% del, de la chamba a la hora de animar entonces Entonces sí, definitivamente, o sea, pero no necesariamente, o sea, hay quienes dicen que no, yo en lo personal pues sí me ha ayudado, pero pues sí tampoco es una, más bien, ¿sabes qué? No, creo que es algo que tiene que ser al mismo tiempo, o sea, ni una ni otra, ni una primero ni una después, obviamente pues vemos animación desde que somos niños, entonces vamos a ver antes de siquiera considerar eh, tomar el lápiz y animar nosotros 
Eh, pero eventualmente va a ser como al mismo tiempo. Y entre más animes y más dibujes, más cosas vas a ver al momento de pues, ver series o películas animadas. Entonces... Sí, no sé si respondí chido. Pero... Sí, o sea... Uno empieza a notar más cosas, empieza a ver más... Eh, pues sí, detalles que simplemente si no hubiera empezado a, a practicar y a animar, no notaría. Y también, bueno, es que la animación, o sea, no solo es dibujar, eh, o sea, no solo es hacer dibujos que se muevan, también es, eh, pues sí, sutilezas como de acting, de pacing, que eh, son un poquito más ambiguas y difíciles de como explicar o... Pues sí, o sea, sí, son un poquito más eh, ambiguas. Entonces, <risa> ver eh, material, sobre todo de buena calidad. No, no, también se aprende mucho con cosas no tan bien hechas. ¿eh? <risa> eh, entonces, sí, ver material te da... Te, te da mucho. Entonces, I think I should um, now say that in English. I'm going to um, grab more tea. Uh, two minutes. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so translating um the what I just what I just said in Spanish to English. Um Yeah, I think watching series and um, films, animated films, helps uh, helps you with your animation skills. However, 
I think it's something wrong with some. Mm. However, I think um, it's something that, like, you you practice animation and you also watch uh, animation, and those things are kind of like two sides from the same co same coin. And so, sure. And uh, you're going to develop your eye, like your visual skills, as well as your drawing skills or animation skills. You know, it's not only um, hand drawn animation that I'm talking about. So, So yeah, uh, of course you still need to practice a lot and draw a lot, but um, I think having a trained eye is as important. Maybe, you know, it's a 50-50 trained eye and trained uh, hand. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm moving around these keyframes because I'm not liking how they turned out. Well, it's not that bad. I'm not liking it. Okay, I deleted I deleted the keyframes from the timeline, but that doesn't mean the drawings are gone. They are still here. But I'm going to try different things and maybe um, I don't know something that I may like more and I'm going to also change my brush to one sometimes it's, it's easier to draw um, I don't know well at least for me it's easier to draw with a bigger brush So I can only like make quick suggestions of the fingers, you know, with these instead of having to make like uh, the form. I can only make a line. Sometimes 
yeah to like plan the movement um faster just a very simple trick like an involuntary twitch from like the muscles Maybe I could add like this effect or like things pixelate. I don't know if that's how to do it. Or like, like a chromatic aberration. So move on like this and then I can return. So sometimes you just have to move on and then come back.
Okay. Okay, now the weird uh grotesque hand stuff. Okay, so I think I'm going to start with this hand being kind of like crushed.
Oye, a la hora de animar, si ¿sí piensas en los 12 principios de la animación o ya es algo natural. Eh, o sea, no, no pienso en todos. Creo que hay unos que como que... Hay unos más importantes que otros. O, o bueno, que usas más. Bueno, yo, que yo uso más. <risa> Aunque creo que en general también aplica. Eh, y creo que, creo que es una combinación de, o sea, a veces sale natural, pero luego lo que hago es eh, revisar la animación y hacer como correcciones con como otro color. De cuenta que es, tomo este rosa y digo como de, ah no, o sea, esto puede estar más squashed, ¿no? O, o la curva aquí puede estar mejor o algo así. Entonces, como que sí natural, pero sí también puedo más bien revisarlo, ¿no? Y darle una como segunda vuelta. Alex, hola Alex. <ríe> Qué bueno verte por aquí después de tanto tiempo. Planeo, eh, planeo regresar a Twitch también, a hacer streams ahí también. Eh, vamos a ver qué pasa. Pero... Pero sí, pues estuve... Pues dejé todo abandonado. <risa> Por ejemplo, aquí uno que uso todo el tiempo, un, un principio de la animación que uso todo el tiempo es la curva. Eh, de hecho aquí, aquí puedes ver como si dibujé como curvitas. Siento que es de los más importantes. Las curvas. Entonces, pues sí, digamos que de forma casi que automática dibujo la curva para como guiarme. Okay, so I'm going to translate in English now. So mm, este, uh, the question was about the 12 animation principles and if the, if I think about them when I am when I am animating or if I uh, or if they come mm, like with without thinking and my answer was that it is they come naturally but also I I sometimes go back to check my own animation and applying some of the 12 principles I also said that um, I don't think all of them are as important as others um, so there's that too uh, for example the curves principle I think is one of the one that I use the most um, all the time I think it's very important and also spacing for example I think spacing is not a 12 animation principle or, or is it? Well, I'm, I'm not sure but spacing is as important as timing is so timing and spacing are like the main two animation principles so those they may come like without thinking but I also um, go back and even change the brush color and correct my own drawings to um, enhance them so both ways naturally but also I also need to think about them as well 
Tranquila, poco a poco se retoman las cosas también, sí. Sí, no me pesa, no me pesa mucho porque conseguí trabajo <ríe> en un anime, entonces... Eh, pues siento que las cosas están fluyendo, entonces estoy contenta por eso. Um, ok, so I'm, I'm making a folder and this way I can have more layers inside like one keyframe. So, I'm going to draw this hand in this other layer. So if I want to erase or change something, I have more control. Trabajo en anime, órale, qué chido. Sí. Sí, sí, está padre. Va a salir el próximo año, entonces... Cuando pueda compartir cosas, pues ya lo haré. Oh, nice to see you animating live. You're a big inspiration for my studies of anatomy, going back to each body parts. An unnoted dose knowledge. Thank you very much. Um, I am testing uh, how to live stream on YouTube. I plan to do it more often. So I actually wanted my first live stream to be um, one of the uh, 3D figure drawing uh, I'm doing uh, with Blender grease pencil but I don't know this animation came to my mind and I better test <laughs> make a test and later yeah make that particular stream that I wanted to you know I wanted to start this series of streams with that one um, so yeah I'll be doing some um, anatomy uh, 3d figure drawing soon. and I'm glad that you know sometimes studying anatomy is uh, I don't know tedious and boring but it's really it's worth it so keep going and you know sooner than later it's gonna be kind of like natural 
you're you're going to improve a lot. So yeah, I plan on doing more live streams. Chido. Gracias. Let me show you. So it's a hand, and then an AI hand comes and it and like it's going to oh oh that's it's going to. become something grotesque and monster-like and it's going to continue drawing like that <laughs> so I saw a lot of artists um, making um, kind of like this AI uh, protest drawings and paintings and they inspired me to make, do something as well. Thank you. Look forward to watching more of your streaming, especially Grease Pencil. Yeah! Yeah, I wanted to stream Grease Pencil more than anything. But this is Clip Studio. I'm still getting a hang of how Grease Pencil works, so... Um, yeah. <laughs> but Clip Studio Paint is really... It's the, it's the software I use for uh, professional work, so... I feel really comfortable with it. But I love Grease Pencil. I, I want to eventually like, move. To, oh well, yeah, change to the Grease Pencil workflow. ¿Cuántas horas llevas haciendo eso? Uh, este stream, este directo lleva dos horas, once minutos. Y es que... Tengo como chance, tengo tiempo libre ahorita. Eh, entregué unas cosas del anime, entonces pues me dio, me hice chance para hacer algo como for fun. Okay, now the weird looking hands. Hands. We're gonna have fun, yeah! Woo! Dos horas, sí, como ves. 
two hours. I've been streaming for two hours now. I think for putting rough animation down of the, of the phone part, any software with fluid frame, it's, yeah, yeah, I agree. I I may uh, mix like use um, clip or or even TV paint. I don't know if you know TV paint, but TV paint has um nice timeline. So I may make like the rough animation passes on other software and then. Uh, imported into import into Blender. drawn like a weird hand it's always good looking hand and it's quite fun because they don't have to be correct <laughs> you can make them you can make mistakes or make them look weird and that's the point so you look at it. Come, come. I think I'm going to make smears to transition between these weird looking keyframes. But now let's continue with the. I mean, those smears will be in between. So. Oh, TV paints my jam. Being using for more or less. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I bought TV paint um, when I was a student, but I only have the not the. I have the standard version and uh, things like the camera tool or blending modes that the standard version doesn't have. I I I stopped using TV paint because of that. But when I have like the money to invest, I will definitely buy it. Buy the yeah, the pro version. Bueno, mi compu revivió, me paso a retirar un gusto, Mariana. Qué bueno, descansa. Y ya es super tarde allá. Entonces. Y qué gusto lo de tu compu. Gracias por Estar aquí un rato, mandar preguntas, ayudarme a poder llevar una conversación porque luego es difícil. Y pues nos vemos en eh, futuros directos. Thank you, bye.
at these fingers. Arlo. <laughs> Yes, TV paint is awful at finishing the work due to lacks of vectorized lines. Yeah, I don't think there is any particular benefit for using it other than if your work environment requires you to. Yeah, um, I... When working in anime, I mean, they... Almost all the industry uses clips to do paint for when they do digitally, because Surpri surprisingly enough, some of them still draw on paper. I mean, it's crazy. But yeah, it's paper and then clips to your paint. But I do know that some um, Japanese animators use TV paint. And, and it's great for uh, the anime production needs. Because you don't need to... Yeah, the way the, the the anime pipeline works allows you to use TV Paint. But I cannot use TV Paint because I need to move the camera. So I have to use Clip Studio Paint. Fabiano, un corazoncito que está con, haciendo algo con, tiene unos como guantes azules <ríe> YouTube también tiene como stickers sí, wow <laughs> okay, so I am not o sea, I'm not moving timing right now Because it's so You can see it's very um, Kind of like Evenly spaced Son mis manos de doctor Le agregaron emotes Ay, qué chido Tus manos de doctor I'm really liking uh, having fun with drawing weird looking hands. I'm liking this experiment. <laughs>
-hmm. One thing that I prefer uh, much more how TV Paint handles and handles it is the light table or the onion skin setting. Um, Clip Studio Paint is, I mean, it's it's less intuitive how how it works. Oops. TV Paint has, I think it's similar to Toon Boom. I, I don't really, I I only used Toon Boom Harmony for a freelance job and I was not a big fan of it but at least the light table was the same and it was so great oh my god yes TV yeah shift and trace light yeah perfect yes yeah clip I think it's the only thing that it needs to be really a really complete to the animation software because it it may seem like the the clip studio paint timeline is less intuitive but i really think it works i mean once you get used to it of course <laughs> i think it works um great but the light table and uh, onion skin uh, tool is beautiful in TV Paint. Okay, let's I'm going to copy the pencil. Oh my god, I think I have not saved <laughs> since I started streaming. Oh. You are interested. There is a Blender plugin made by Andarta that enables shift and trace the grease pencil. Not sure how stable it has become. How it is. Oh, I I definitely want to check it out. I am slowly getting into grease pencil, so anything that can make it more. Yeah, more to the animation friendly. How is it called? 
or should I just search for uh, Andarta? Andarta. Look at this hand. I'm loving it. <laughs> Beautiful. The author is Tom Bigewer. Okay. Oh, it's in. It's. Is it. Uh, I'm also quite new to Blender. So, is it like available in the just searching inside Blender for the add-on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to install it. Chayitos, cuídate mucho guapa y te deseo lo mejor y vas a lograr muchas cosas épicas. Nos vemos después en otro de directo. Gracias, gracias por estar aquí. Y sí, espero que pueda eh, hacerlo más seguido esto de los directos y espero también verte por aquí Ale gracias por pasarte un rato que tengas un buen día creo no se está amaneciendo por allá bueno no no es cierto todavía es muy temprano o descansa no sé <ríe> no sé eh, pero gracias gracias por pasar un rato por aquí Oh, it's probably required to do something on... Okay, 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 got it. Oh, oops. I will look into it. Thank you. One of the things that I'm really enjoying from making um, YouTube videos and sharing my process is that a lot of people share plugins and videos and tools to uh, facilitate the work and I mean sometimes it's easier to find those all of those tools because I am making the, the YouTube video so I really I really like that Sí, día, son como las... Oh, ok, las 5 de la mañana de trabajar. Dale, pues. Pues a darle. Échale con todo. I'm going to make this pencil 
can like become a finger TV Pink is great to make paperless animations, especially for those who want to draw every frame and are not interested in vectors. Yeah, definitely. I... I, I, I didn't like uh, Toon Boom Harmony because... I don't know, the drawing felt... Um, weird. The difference with Blender and Grease Pencil is all the all the tools and the software's power and possibility. So even though it's vectors, I don't mind. Or I I don't know. It it, it it's not it doesn't bother bother me <laughs> as much. Okay, look at this hand. Beautiful. Okay, I just added this keyframe to it. And I think I'm going to copy. What? What? Copy, paste. Oh, you know what else? I like better in Clip Studio Paint what I just did, copy and pasting frames. I I don't know if I not if I don't know how to do that in TV Paint, but I remember I, I couldn't do it as easily. I mean copy and copying and pasting frames was not as comfortable. I don't know. I kind of like have that memory. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to redraw this, but I copy it and pasted it to cut like the reference because it would be nice to have like the fingers have some kind of like a little bit of bouncing when when they move so I will do that later okay again copy and paste
Uh, uh, yeah, the onion skin is not. I think it's it's the worst part. But I mean, it's not that big of a deal either, so... Same, I have heard time making what I want with Tumble. It may be because I'm not used to vectors, but even when I avoid them, it's limiting. Yeah, I just... I, I just... I don't like it. And it's so expensive. You can copy-paste frame quite easily to the paint, but older version would push later frame forward, so yeah, they do be kind of wonky, kind of wacky. They fixed in version 11, but okay, okay, I will check it out. I mean, I I want to buy the professional edition, because I do need blending modes or, or the camera at least, and I don't have it, so. Okay. Let's see how um this is going along. Okay, so this is not the timing is not made yet. Okay. Turn to eight and okay. I think the drawings are. Taking form, they are coming along. Uh, I think this just needs more time. Let's let's time this animation. This is something that I think most animators don't do, but I, you know, I usually don't pay pay attention to timing at the beginning that much. I mean, obviously, I have to at least be able to read what the animation is kind of doing. So I don't know if my approach is maybe not the best. <laughs> Especially because, I mean, when you are working for somebody else, they usually give you the timing, so it's kind of, yeah, they help you a lot, the director or the, yeah, the director or the, yeah, the animatic, the, like the production gives you the timing, so they do help a lot with that. So when I, I'm doing my, come up, yeah, my like, yeah, <laughs> my personal animation uh, work, I, I, I can always move the timing, you know, and since it's only me making this, if I were to communicate this and pass it along to an in-betweener or someone in the pipeline, I would need to be, um, and I, 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 I don't know what I'm even saying, okay, forget it. 
Imagine getting back scratches with those hands. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. I mean, that would be. I don't know. Maybe it feels weird. <laughs> right? Like. It may be. Um. It may be so relaxing, almost like a massage, or maybe, I don't know, creepy. Okay, and I'm also checking, um, like, spacing and... making maybe I think I'm missing a frame here I keep frame because I'm still missing a lot of frames but key frames And the pencil disappeared. Okay, it doesn't matter. I think I can add here the pencil. Maybe. This right here is one of the things that I really like about food that I can like inside like this keyframe is actually a folder and I can have more layers inside. And it really makes things And then I can just go back to the layer of the hand and maybe move it. Okay, I'm going to I think before cleaning up this path I'm going to mm, no. Okay.
your approaches, I think, is nice for making certain that the keyframes is looking good. And you can always add break, add breakdown in between anyway. So in fact, it's kind of efficient. Yeah. Yeah, since I myself, I'm doing the, the breakdowns and the in-betweens, I you can always continue moving around the keyframes. That's why I, you know, I, I don't think about it too much. So yeah, yeah, it's, it's efficient for me. It wouldn't be efficient if there was, if, 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 if these would go to an in-betweener. Um, I would have to decide on timing and well, I, I've seen keyframers make very rough in-betweens so that they are sure if they like the timing as well. So, I mean, I can always do that as well. But yeah. I think this hand needs to be bigger. Okay, first rename. Oh, I'm still not liking this. Okay, I'll I'll fix it later. I'm missing Let's add a drawing. Boom, boom. Okay, so these, like all these keyframes, were not making sense one after the other. Like this drawing had nothing, well, almost nothing to do with this one and this one and this one. So I need to make, start making some sense between the transitions. For example, this, this finger right here, it starts turning. And then it ends up this one. So 
as well as all of these things. fingers. We're going to start um, turning towards this, this, um, yeah, all of this fingers, fingers. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's weird. Okay, so I'm going to start adding some in between.
now I'm doing um, cutting in between changing the keyframe that I already made. Just adding anticipation and all that. Yeah. To really convey the feeling of you know, brushing the hair. Me, a mic sounds kind of oozy. Not sure if that's the appropriate definition. Oh, let's see. I don't know what oozy is, but <laughs> moving things around, maybe. Let me know if it's better or if it's the same. Please. better okay I mean I I only moved it around so I don't know <laughs> well I was like yeah I think I mean if it starts I, I also changed change the like where I have it clipped because it's a it's a lav mic lavalier so I have to clip it
Okay, so my idea for the in-betweens was to make uh, lots of smears. convey easily not only the fast transition but the uh, the transformation the weird transformation is my voice uh, better with smears is that they that they are real that they um last only one frame or two frames they have to be very fast I must say it was not as good as an hour ago but you're still going yeah, I'm still going. Is my voice, is my mic, my mic is weird, apparently. The lap. The, ah, oh, okay. It has a body battery on the switch port oh, but I, I have to change the battery right ahora es español si si hablo español and it has not been replaced since oh okay you can use the other lap oh. Okay. Or connect one of the road pod mix. Ooh, chas. I think you're asking me too much. Okay, all right. And where's the 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 other lab is in like a another back seat? Not having a way. Okay. Okay, uh, just a moment. I'm going to change the mic. There's lag. La okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, you found it. it. It was not inside the bag, but, but I found it.
Okay, you've changed um, the mic. Is it better to the same? Can you hear me? It's perfect. Yay! Woo! Bueno, sí hablo español, este, Brenda. ¿Cómo, cómo la béisbol? <laughs> Ooh, okay, let's continue. I thought I, I would, uh, ha, I would have. I would have, is that correct? I I thought I would have been no I would have been, I don't know. I thought I was going to need to end stream. Just when I'm being super Yeah. Or you see <laughs> the other mics we have. So I was in the middle of doing a, uh, a smear. Smears are really fun. <laughs> and you should add some filters to your mic to make it, it, it sound a bit better. An EQ compressor and maybe a little reverb. <laughs> Okay, we'll do that. Sure, the other mics are actually the best option. Okay. A ver, podemos ver el playback? Eh, no. Ahorita lo pongo. Ahorita lo pongo, ahorita lo pongo. ¿Cómo le hago para que lo loop? Ah, loop. Perfect. So there's that. I plan on making all the transitions between uh, the grotesque um, keyframes, smears, or yeah, smears. Just like the one I'm doing right now. And I also want to fix the, like the shake, that shake, the shake where the, the hand 
um yeah it's it's um it, it it's weird Maybe with sound, in like a no, like a, a struggling uh, <laughs> sound while while the the hand is transforming. So what uh, did you think? Did you like it? More or less? You didn't like it?
Computers now have primary control of critical vehicle functions. How do you feel after these first two streams? I feel great. I I think it was a little bit uh, 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 torpe, how to say that? Uh, 
yeah at the beginning with the troubleshooting and stuff but you know it was a test stream clumsy yeah it was clumsy at the beginning um <laughs> Well, that's normal, okay, yeah. Junkie, yes. <laughs> Junkie stream, lol, yeah. Uh, but great, it, it was a, a good first test and I... I am eager to continue making this. Please, so... Um, yeah. I mean, I didn't have the camera on and I, I wanted to, I want my streams to have camera. So I think that helped with the confidence. <laughs> um, but yeah. Maybe it's time to end the stream. Three hours and a half. And... <coughs> oh, yeah. And I really enjoyed your stream. Oh... Congrats. Thank you. Um, maybe I... I will continue. I'll make another stream maybe with this same animation maybe i won't finish it um i think it's cool to see to see the process um so yeah maybe i'll make another stream um i'm going to check my setup you know to have uh the mic maybe the camera and maybe uh you know i i i am um, my, my voice is a bit um, rusty, so I hope to see you soon. All right, I'll see you next stream. Thank you, thank you, TA, TA Animation, for being here. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. And some Valorant, let's go. <laughs> Maybe uh, not in this channel, <laughs> but maybe uh, on Twitch. Maybe um, I I plan to do some gaming, but I don't know. I don't feel like my YouTube channel. I think it 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 no obliga. It's not. You know, you could do commentary on the character design. <laughs> Play Valor. <laughs> Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's a good way to uh, disguise it. Okay, so uh, let me just play the animation and you know what make a content outdoor animating? Yeah, 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 yeah. I actually I bought. Uh, a lot of uh, supplies I they have a sketchbook and some uh, pens and I wanted to uh, draw outside uh, some urban sketching and stuff but I I haven't done that so it's 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 good that you mention it because I really, I really want to do that. Maybe I'll, I'll do that on Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, I, I, I plan on, on doing more um, live stream. Time to put the closet worth of art supplies to use. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have tons of art supplies that I... I'm not using and I really want to use them. Okay, great. So, um, okay, let's see what I do next. And thank you very much for stopping by. And I'll see you in the next. The, the, uh, I'll see you in the next one. And um, yeah.
up. Cheers. Great stream. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so should I just like click and stream? I guess all right. See you. See you. Oh no, I'm about to finish stream and people start arriving. <laughs> I'll, I will uh, continue streaming this animation. So, uh, stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! <laughs> Bye! When's the next stream? Um, I don't know. Uh, soon maybe tomorrow or uh, the day after tomorrow but I don't know the time maybe I will change the time because I'm still experimenting so uh, yeah exactly do what Warina is art <laughs> okay bye 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 <coughs> bye